Hey guys, it's Martijn here at Design Sketching. Uh, I'm trying something new this week. I'm trying to answer questions by you that I receive on my uh, Instagram account or my Facebook page. And this week I received a question on my Instagram by Daily Sketcher, who says, what's your opinion on rotating the page? Um, that's a good question. So this is what I do. When I, uh, when I sketch, uh, or when anyone sketches, you, you usually have a favorite angle to draw. And I believe you refer to that in your, in your message as well, that you find it easier to draw a line from the lower left corner of your page to the upper right. Um, and that's because, and that's just for right-handed people, left-handed people have the other direction. And the other direction is a lot harder for me to do. Um, because of my physique and so the the motor skill of drawing this line is a lot easier to train than this one it feels much more unnatural um, so whenever I need to draw a line uh, I try to rotate my page as much as I can in the direct in my favorite direction so uh, a horizontal line I could draw that like this it just feels a bit unnatural I'm positioning myself, I'm rotating my body a little bit to make that more comfortable, but still, if I simply rotate my page a little bit, I free up my posture and the line becomes a lot more fluent like that. It's easier. Um, so whenever you have a horizontal line, that would be the strategy. Um, now for a line to, to the right, um, you can use that you don't need to rotate your page because it's already in that like 30 degree uh, angle zone. Now to the left, um, I could rotate my page like that and draw the lines like that. That works. Or I rotate the page the other way and I also rotate my wrist with that. And so basically what I'm doing is um, I always try and position my pencil or my pen perpendicular to the line that I'm actually drawing. So if this is, if I'm drawing a horizontal line, I rotate my page a little bit and this is the position that I hold my pencil. Um, if I draw a vertical line, I rotate my pencil in a horizontal position like that so that gives me a very natural position to draw these vertical lines and I draw them from my shoulder I'm not moving my wrists not moving fingers um, I try to produce these long lines from my shoulder moving my whole arm um, so on an angle I do the same I rotate my pen in this direction to draw this angle and for this I can choose I can either rotate the page this way and hold my pen like that or I rotate it this way and hold my pen or pencil like that okay um, now, when I'm designing, so I've been preparing this a little bit, um, and when I, when I design, I work in, in two phases. Um, the ideation part of the drawing is where I explore. I call that the exploratory mindset. That's when I try to really stay in that flow uh, of coming up with lots of ideas uh, about the shape, about the design of this product. And in that phase, I tend to not rotate my page too much. So you'll see me rotating the page to that 30 degree angle, um, comfortable in this direction, and to the left as well, but not much further than, than that. Um, and I usually do that with a blue pencil. I like to set up my initial sketches with a blue pencil, and that leaves enough 
uh, room to then go back in with a fine liner or a heavier felt tip pen to then punch the contrast of the designs that I find most favorable or most interesting. So here's a page where um, I've set up my sketch in blue pencil and I can, I can show you again tracing over the lines how I do that and basically I'm not moving the page that much and still trying to get fluency in, the, in these lines by just um, repositioning my hand rather than the page. So it's, it's all about speed and making sure that the that you keep up with the uh, with the ideas that pop into your head and that you can quickly explore shapes and ideas without losing sight of what you're doing. And the problem with rotating the page is that you lose you kind of lose that overview of the proportions, of the angles, of the perspective, and it becomes very difficult to, um, yeah, to put everything in place where it should be. So as long as I'm in that exploratory phase, whether it's side views or whether it's perspectives, um, I, I tend to rotate my wrist more than my page. So let's see, let's do another version of this glue gun. So even a curve like that, I draw it like that, where this would be a lot easier, more fluent, um, but I'm not really going for super fluency in this stage. I'm really, I want to balance the design. I'm looking for the proportions and therefore I try to minimize the rotation. Okay, exploring another idea here. Okay, and then uh, once I have filled my page, usually I fit about, I don't know, three to four perspectives or a bunch of side views and perspectives on one page. And then I switch to the communicative mindset, pick up my fine liner and start basically tracing the lines of the designs that I want to communicate. Um, and then um, there's a couple of lines that actually have this nice angle that is easy for me to draw. So I can, I can just move my hand in my favorite, favorite direction, which is comfortable to do. Um, and this one, I just have to rotate the page slightly. And then basically I just keep rotating the page for all the lines, all the angles that I need to draw. So I go around the design like that. And this one actually, it needs to go up and that's more difficult. You get less fluent lines when you do that like that. So therefore I rotate the page all the way this way and then see if I can produce a more fluent line like that. Okay, um, the handle, again rotating it all the way to get the most fluent line that I can produce based on rotation of my wrist and curving it back the other way there. And it's especially the, the long curves that you need to rotate the page. On the short ones you can still use the motion of your fingers. Um, but on the longer curves, you definitely want to use your wrist for the most fluent lines. Okay. And because, because the design was basically done, I don't have to worry about where to put the lines. I'm just worried about the fluency. That's, that's really the main, main goal at this point. Um, I think I still need to drop in the trigger here. Okay. 
long lines from the shoulder, ghost line in the air, so that your system memorizes where it needs to go, and then put your line on the page. Especially for ellipses, you really need to rotate your page um, for the most comfortable position for you to to draw the ellipse. So let's see what happens here. The surface goes up and it breaks there. It goes back down and here I get a transition. Um, let's see. Here is a surface break with a small curve, and then rotate the page all the way again, producing that fluent line. Okay, describe the geometry using that contour line okay so this is almost done and then I'm going to add some more contrast with a heavier felt tip and basically do the same thing. So ghost line these lines. Rotate the page and go around the shape like that. And you can really punch the contrast in a specific area of your sketch. done or at least the line work but I'm going to leave it at that for now okay so the question can I rotate my page yes you can and it's totally up to you but what I do is I rotate my page just a little bit when I explore when I'm using my blue pencil and I'm using, uh, I'm rotating the page a lot when I am finalizing the design, when I'm putting my fine liner or my heavier lines on the page. Okay, so I hope this helps. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on my Instagram, direct message me, put them on my Facebook, my YouTube, wherever you find me, and I'll see if I can help you too. All right, take care.